Hello, comrades. Let's look at these two men. Despite both are in their late something, one of them is still handsome and is even considered to be a womanizer, while the second one is just a man. What is the single crucial difference between these two men that makes one of them so markedly more attractive than another? Well, the handsome guy has a mustache. How remarkable it can be that such a small and trivial detail as this mustache makes such a huge difference and distinguishes this man so much above another. In today's video, we'll talk about a similar small detail that makes a huge difference in your Russian pronunciation. The presence of this small detail can adorn your Russian pronunciation like this mustache, but the lack of this small detail can harm it the same way as if this man shaved off his elegant attire under the nose. Well, this small detail I'm talking about is the ability to pronounce the Russian sha and sha properly. From the experience of meeting people who study Russian, I can confidently say that the vast majority of learners, especially beginners, cannot pronounce the Russian sha and sha properly. Moreover, they do not really understand the difference between them. However, even those uh, who think they get the difference, well, they usually get it wrong. For example, most Russian learners, when commenting on the difference between the Russian sha and sha, would say something like this. The Russian sha is pronounced as an sh, and sha is usually referred to something vaguer, like to a shch or a shsh combination. And when they try to pronounce this shsh as a sound, rarely it sounds like a Russian sha. In this video, I am going to address this issue, so by the end of this video, you'll know the exact difference between the Russian sha and sha, and will understand how exactly to pronounce them. Ok, let's dive in. Let's start with the following. This approach that says that sha is like an sh and sha is like an shsh or shch or whatever else is wrong and here is why. See, the English sh is really a middle sound between sha and sha. So it would be correct to say that both Russian sha and sha are pronounced approximately like an English sh. The keyword here is approximately because sha and sha are still pronounced differently in Russian, otherwise we would not have two separate letters for them, right? Strictly speaking, in Russian we don't directly have an English sound sh, which is denoted by an sh combination. Similarly, in English there are no Russian sh and sh too. Technically, if we compare those three amigos, uh, sha is anatomically a backward or hard version of an sh, and sha is a front or soft version of an sh. So, if you pronounce sh and push the tongue forward, your sh will sound closer to the Russian sha, and if you pull the tongue backward, it will sound closer to the Russian sha. However, in terms of the real-life audible difference between Russian sha and sha and their English counterpart sh, as a Russian native speaker, I must say that the difference between two Russian and one English counterparts is subtle and unclear if we pronounce those sounds without context. But inside Russian words, the English sh doesn't sound very good. Let me demonstrate the difference. For that, we do not necessarily need the Russian language for now, so let me pronounce pairs of English words but with sha and sha instead of an sh. Listen carefully. Shade, shade, rush, rush, she, she, mush, mush, shine. Shine, wish, wish, shoot, shoot, push, push, shark, shark, 
Finnish. Finnish. So how to pronounce Russian sha and sha properly? Learning to pronounce sha and sha is based on studying the correct tongue postures for both sounds. On the screen you can see the difference in tongue postures for sha and sha. On top of that, for reference, let's add the English sh, which is pronounced something like this. The Russian sha is pronounced with the tip of the tongue and not the blade as in English, and the tip is pointed against the roof of the mouth behind the alveolar ridge. The place against which the tip of the tongue is pointed is, is called post-alveolar. At this point, we probably should clarify the exact coordinates of a post-alveolar position, at which sha is pronounced because to be pronounced in a native speaker manner, sha usually requires more precision than its sister sha, which is freer. So let's look where precisely sha is pronounced. Shortly, it's right behind the alveolar ridge. First, we need to identify the alveolar ridge via finding tubercles with our tongue in this area. Also, you can use English TDNL for reference, but do it carefully, because this suggestion works only if you pronounce those sounds using the tip of the tongue. See, roughly half of the English-speaking population draw their tongues out forward and pronounce these sounds with an elongated tongue posture using the blade of the tongue rather than its tip. So, the Russian sha is pronounced at a post-alveolar position, which means that it is pronounced right behind the alveolar ridge. As you see in the image, a post-alveolar position is sort of more at the rear part of the alveolar ridge rather than far behind. Thus, do not pull the tip of the tongue too much backward, because this way sha would still sound Russian as a separate sound, but inside words it would seem markedly harder than it needs to be. Thus, do not pull the tip of the tongue too much backward, just a little bit. So, the tip of the tongue must be located here at the beginning of the sharp uprise in the mouth. As mentioned before, sha requires more precision than sha. Let's try to pronounce sha. For now, let's still use English words for training. Repeat after me the following English words pronouncing sha instead of an sh. Shade, Rush, She, Marsh, Shine, Wish, Shoot, Push. Shark Finish Now, sha. It is pronounced very similarly to an English sh in terms of how it generally feels. However, the Russian sha is articulated in a noticeably anterior position compared to the English sh. As you see in the image, the tongue should be elongated far forward in a way that the tip of the tongue is close to the upper incisors but doesn't touch them. Let's use these English words for training. Repeat after me the following words pronouncing sha instead of an sh. Shade Rush She Mush Shine Wish Shoot Push Shark Finish. Now let's work on the discrimination between sha and sha via pronouncing the following pairs. Each time you need to pull the tip of the tongue back and point against the roof of the mouth at a post alveolar position at the beginning of the sharp uprise in the mouth for the sha, which is blue, 
and push the tip of the tongue far forward almost till the upper incisors for the soft sha, which is green. Repeat after me the following pairs. Now let's pronounce some Russian words that contain the letters sha and sha. First, sha, for which you need to point the tip of the tongue against a post alveolar position, which is the beginning of the sharp uprise in the mouth that starts right behind the alveolar ridge. Repeat after me. Shapka. Sharf. Shar. Shkaf. Shok. Chashka. Kartoshka. Хорошо. Душа. Карандаш. Now, sha, which is pronounced with the tongue posture as in the image. As you see, the tip of the tongue is raised and pushed far forward, almost till the upper front teeth. Repeat after me. She. Sheet. Shika. Еще. Ящик. Площадь. Пища. Теща. Плащ. Товарищ. That's it for this video. Now you know the difference between ша and ща. As I have explained in this video, to learn to pronounce them correctly, you need to stop using the English SH and start using the new just explained tongue postures. The required tongue postures for ша and ща are in this image. На сегодня все. Увидимся в следующих видео.